Okay. Uh. Actually, I don't expect this last quest I know about to take too long, so maybe I'll start even some 4.2 uh, world quests. Uh, so, let's get down there. Uh, damage, I think this is the best path to get there. Uh, that guy seemed to return there. Then, from what I search around, I can open that door, the locked door now, with the rock I made, I forged. <laughs> and then I think, then I think that'll be it for 4.1. Okay, you returned. Recall. Oh, you're back? Well, and so am I. After the Institute heard of my brief report, I was asked to assess the area for suitability as a quality development training ground alongside conducting my retrieval work. Uh, this all feels very familiar somehow. I remember that there was a period of time when our administrative officer was very big on getting everyone to do diving training as well. I personally think that it's all rather pointless, but work is work I suppose, and a mission is a mission. Not to mention how this place is rather strange, I mean unique. As such, I've placed a few replica anchors in the area. And don't worry, they're just dummies, they are 100% safe. The content of the current training is to retrieve all the anchors inside the building within a time limit. Would you like to give it a go? I can give you some compensation for taking part. You'll be assisting research after all. Okay. Uh, hang on. Never mind the challenge first. What happened to your cold throat? Uh, just being kicked out of the Fontaine Research Institute didn't bring him to his senses. He really is big headed. But nobody is backing him now, so you can relax. He can't cause any more trouble. Hmm, shouldn't be able to meet him at the fortress. Okay, okay, that's not the same. Uh, anyway, who is Kusio? I don't know either. I don't recall anyone by that name at the Fountain Research Institute. Perhaps he, as far as he's concerned, it's better than nobody but the name exists. Just like he said himself, Kuso was just a convenient character. The more different the character was from himself, the better, as it made it less likely anyone would recognize him. Although, that's just a guess of mine. Uh, if you ask me though, I think he changed enough over the years as it is. I didn't recognize him at first. Come on, there's too much text. Uh, leaving the challenge aside, what about the devices here? 
Uh, it's puzzling, isn't it? It seems like he's made uh, various modifications to this place. Now it feels more suited to some ancient ruins that thirst my visit. Although perhaps it isn't too prudent to say like that. Uh, the aforementioned viewpoint is only my personal opinion and is not representative of the Fountain Research Institute or its viewpoints. Okay, let's do your challenge. Let me give it a try. Alright, I'll time you. Don't forget, you need to retrieve all the anchors inside the building within the time limit and then come find me. What anchors did I have to? Massive anchor. Oh, I don't really know what, what he's really talking about. Four replica anchors. Okay, I suppose that we will open the the gate, the chest over there. But I'm not sure. What are those anchors? I just had to follow the path. There wasn't anything that would call an anchor when I was following the guy. that okay yep but I didn't really have to mess with any of those before <laughs> but alright they since they get marked once I'm nearby this shouldn't be too hard This will take more waiting. Will take more time from this challenge. that about I can read I suppose it would be better to go through the other side when I started this challenge. Um, do I have to bring them back to him after getting the last one? Or just collect him, completes it?
Mm, that's too close. Well, we will open that for me. You oh, got it. Looks like this challenge is impossible after all. I guess I can submit this proposal to the Institute. Shame that I haven't finished checking all the assets yet, so I'll have to come back later. Here later. But regardless, thanks for your help. Ah, yes, here's your reward. Safe travels now. Wait, I'll have to come back here again another day for to get that. Oh, you again? About, about the device here. It's puzzling, isn't it? It seems like he's made uh, various modifications to this place. Life is more so Oh, no, that's for you. Damage. How do I open that? Yeah, the same thing from before. Uh. Uh, probably again. No, I, I guess I read all that. Oh, come on, guy. What do I have to do to open that? Oh. Wow, that took long enough. Uh, urge concentration. Or near morning clock or common or somewhere in the search. I hope nobody disturbs me. Where did I get me. that? Uh, energy concentrating component. I didn't try to mess with that. Yeah, those are from those um those mecha with life separated life bar and stuff. Um, where damage? Uh, uh, I got that. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I, I think I think you can get that. Uh, it just sucks that I'll have to come back all the way here again. After, okay. Uh, doesn't really matter. I guess above here, there's one. Uh, uh. Okay, defeated those. Seems Linny is saying some strange things again. It's really worrying. <laughs> uh, not you. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember <laughs> getting anything up here. Uh, hang on, let me check the map, okay? Uh, oh, it should be around here. Oh! <laughs> okay, I guess it'll be you. Order guide you! Yeah, I don't think I defeated Have this one trip. yet. Be sanctified! Bow your head. Ah, uh, there. I got the one that was missing. I guess that again. No, let's let's try through here. See if it's a shorter path. Ah, huh, those two. But you guys have defeated already. Ah, you guys attacked me as well. Because I guess most of them didn't. I had to give the first hit for the fight to start. Yeah, anyway, I 
have to get an uh, elevator. I guess this is a bit shorter than the other path on the water. Okay, I thought it would be a quest. Great. The scent of treasure. Was... What? I didn't have time to read that. The worst fontaines eight evil clockwork knights. Contain the legacy of the imperfect clockwork mecha. Alright. Entering standby uh, mode. Now I should be able to open that, I guess. Mm -mm So straight is the gate. Potatoes. Oh. Oh. Let's check everything else first. Notes I received biological samples, they were carefully stored in sealed jars. It's difficult to say if it is closer to an animal or plant, but it's clear that it is unlike any other carnivorous plant. It hunts more actively for living food. I tried transferring it to the Jabessin and it started growing rapidly. It seems to eat anything. I cannot determine if it is this is due to its inherent nature or a result of mutation after the introduction of heterogeneous tissue. Maybe the person would be interested in it. Unfortunately, after going to live in seclusion at Dryas Wood, he has been avoiding the Institute's researchers, including me. I have learned that Archeon affects its behavior. Further experimentation is pointless. Fitting should be stopped at once. Uh, is there as woods here? Mm, it has no name. I thought maybe I was talking about the guy that lived here. Certainly worth the extra mile. Golden birds shedding. Oh, what's that? Okay. Uh, what's that one? No, one of those. Because I don't think I have anyone that looks like that. Uh, not here. No. What, what was that? Come on, what was that? Uh, 
Ah, yeah, okay. Golden Bird Shelly, okay. <laughs> Which one? I, I, I like to know what was the um, stats, what were the stats of the one I just got. I suppose it's either the first one or the last one. But I'm not sure those are actually um, fixed stats or that will be a random one as well. Uh, increase the limit of skill damage. Increase the limit of skill damage. Additional one on field. Skill damage will further increase by 25%. Alright. Uh, how do I get in there? Oh. Ah, oh, it is through here. No, 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 no. Damn it. <laughs> Read. Uh, salvation is meaningless if only a few can be saved. No. Were these words to be spoken by one of noble character that would be all when the issues of cost and efficiency cannot be resolved allowing the field to be saved is the best choice the underwater shelter is undoubtedly a technical success but even if we ignore cost issues it's still a stopgap measure at best the archeon project has greater potential but the forging can only realize a fragment of its potential and that is an experimentally proven fact. Another project criticized as being purely ornamental, said ornamental value is an objective fact, but it is useless to science. Archeon is rather ornamental too, but its beauty is worthless if it can serve the well-being of Fontaine's people. One man's stone is another man's gem. Okay, now I guess we're done with everything that was or Oh no 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 there was one last thing I guess from 4.1 that I uh I think I've explored everything that was explored on the old areas. Let me put the the chest back here, the pages back here. But I'm still missing one. Hey, she's gone. I don't even remember her name. Uh, the cipher page. Uh, I don't remember. Can I uh, read them again? Uh, uh, okay, four. I don't really remember everything that happened. I've been assigned to Alain's lab. That guy only likes things he can figure out completely. If this were a novel, he might be the type of villain who becomes a crazy serial killer just to figure out how the human body works. But he doesn't even doesn't seem even remotely phased about such statements. On the contrary, he spoke to us about the similarities and differences between humans and machines, and between artificial intelligence and personality. Uh oh, this is bad. At this rate, he might really turn into a villain like that. I was disappointed to discover the quality of the people from the institutes is worse than I expected. I expected the people here to be smarter and more open to new ideas than those in high positions outside. But the reality here is uh, but the reality has been infuriating. Or perhaps it would be more appropriate to call it incomprehensible. 
It stands to reason that a research institution with such vast resources should possess the greatest talent. Alain's assistant isn't very good, a little stupid even, but at the very least he is not hostile and doesn't fear us. I'm unable to get the research res resources I desire for now, but that isn't a bad thing. Jacob has always been fond of watching him take apart pocket watches and other clockwork devices. The direction of Alain's research on control annihilation isn't bad, and it would be very interesting to figure out the nature of Ozzy Neoma. After all, as a form of energy localized to Fontaine that has been observed by in living organisms, fully researching them may help us understand the differences in nature between the structure of our bodies and that of cows. In any case, I must find a way to win over the people here, though their imagination is limited, and it's unpleasant to say so. They have some influence outside the institute. Their strength and resources must be consolidated to help them. I can use the book to show them what we've experienced. Although they say a single piece of evidence is never sufficient, the change in Jacob fills me with hope. Uh, if I can make more people accept this kind of change, then it wouldn't matter even if we came face to face with the apocalypse. Even if our world couldn't even grow mint, we could still survive. And as long as we can survive, we can revive our civilization. That will be the next stop. They call it a field investigation from the higher ups, but I think Carter just wanted to take us out to have some fun. I wonder when he he got to know Marianne, though it's quite nice because I haven't seen such a carefree smile on her for a long time. The same goes for Jacob and Lane. It's like they were back in the Narcissus Cross Institute. Of course, it was quite, I was quite happy too. Based on the ruins here, it's likely to be related to the Golden Troop. If that is true, the huge stone figures in the ruins may have significant research value as well. I found a damage map, it may be useful. I just found out about his physical condition. It seems I cannot continue indulging in mechanical research with Lane, and I must find a final solution as soon as possible, or it will be too late. Five. Alain made a huge breakthrough. Everyone is discussing Fontaine's energy revolution, but instead of praise, there seems to be more jealousy drifting around the Institute. Although it has nothing to do with me, I'm still furious on his behalf. The adventure we commissioned found something really valuable, a red gemstone that appeared on the snowy mountains of Mondstadt after the disaster. Its properties are very similar to the flesh and blood of Elena's verified by Jacob. Huh. It's supposedly a product of the great dragon's decaying corpse. In order to reduce confusion, you will hearing after be referred to as Scarlet Quartz. Although it generates heat and has the effect of increasing explosive power, the toxins it contains means mean ordinary humans cannot withstand it, with the exception of one new human's tentative name, like Jacob, to capable of detoxifying it, none have been found yet. Another similar discovery is the filth in the great minds of Liwe. Damn it, I, I have really trouble remembering old lore. All that woos has to do with another dragon. Or... I don't remember. Yeah, I think there was another dragon to Liwe besides Rex Lapis, but he wasn't counted as Drago and as Daha. Uh, unfortunately, I've hit a snag in my research. The biggest challenge is how to reproduce results. 
But if I can obtain sufficient resources, I'm certain I can overcome this. At the very least, the idiots on our side still admire, fear us. The tricks I put Jacob up to were very quite effective. Even though it's quite sad that people from an institute of natural philosophy have somewhat turned into believers. At least I can entrust them with, with simple tasks. Let's use that name to form a society for now. I'll use it as means to give them organization and a sense of belonging. But Carter is unconscious. I took sample of his blood and skin and got a swift cat, cat spot to take it to Sumeru to be looked at. Other from observing the problem, the root of the problem cannot be found. It's pointless, absolutely pointless. Conventional medicine is pointless. I must figure something else out. Jacob, Jacob's proposal is very dangerous. I must give it more thought. I told Carter everything and had Jacob prove his strength and transformation. I even explained the risks, its historical baggage, and my other objective to create a second sample that can corroborate the realization of human transcendence via blank. The, and derive the holistic character and method from it. Carter isn't very good at thinking scientifically, so I used many examples and methods of emphasis, but he seems to have made up his mind from the beginning. Still deteriorating, seems Jacob's successful integration was an extreme case, or perhaps he is not himself anymore, I can't be sure. I must continue observing, uh, it can be a waste, it can be a waste, or else it will all have been for nothing, utterly meaningless. I got more materials in an attempt to reverse it. All sorts of relics and biological tissue from after the calamity. I even got my hands on extremely dangerous residue. Nothing worked, but I can't give up. He's still alive right now. At the very least, in the sense that he can continue, it, it cannot be a waste. He's preserved for now, and further tissue collapse has been prevented. Jacob doesn't tear up at the side of him anymore, but occasionally Carter's voice is occasionally heard from, and that's the worst. Uh, I've tried cutting out the organs where his vocal cords probably are, but they grow back in the one to three days. Wait. Is the blob in the Institute Carter? Alan and I have completely broken off our working relationship. It's regrettable, but I don't blame him. The most regrettable part is the previous direction was proved to be ineffective, but it wasn't all for naught. Identifying the errors made was the greatest benefit. Due to the short lifespans, the cost of trial and error is very high. On this account, I must thank Carter, so I must find a way to save him. I must prove that I can do it. Another thing again is members of the society have grown more loyal. Aren't I a talented actor? During my discussion with Jacob, I thought of another direction that's worth trying. Maybe the solution for, to everything. Was there any content? cannot be deciphered due to the thoughts expressed being utterly incoherent. Uh, why, why don't they say in any order? This starts with X, this also X, this is a V, this again V. Why does it stay in the order? I'm pretty sure in my when I open the inventory it is boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. Oh. Uh, in the expedition to Petricor and the ruins from before, we discovered origin. It seems that compared to humans, we, if all, return to transcend. Although anti intellectual and counterintuitive, the ancients succeeded before. Most of the remaining content cannot be served to the. Okay. Unsolicited, and all the no, no. Okay, uh, seven. 
It's really nice to see her again, but there's nothing here except water, which is really quite uncomfortable. Actually, I felt the same way when I traveled to Sumeru with Jacob and Carl. Empty buildings feel lonely, yet enduring at the same time. In the apocalypse, some stone structures outlive humans a million times over. It's the same here, so to a certain extent, it's just a bit of apocalyptic scenery. The director has been observing these scenes for so long, I'm so I'm sure she feels much of the same sorrow. I should visit her when I have the time, build a new home and bring her over. Jacob will be happy too. Jacob left behind the feather ornament given to him by the vice director. Uh, the same ornament he'd been keeping carefully. As a result, we never use it as a way to play any games. I discovered that this place was very like an ancient facility. If so, I should be able to find useful data in script's content. I'll visit the director again next time. I heard Marianne will be coming to see her too. It would be nice if we could meet. After all, right now Ellen is dead. Uh, H. Rather than calling that sword, it should be called a key. The source of Narcissus Cross. It does not belong to anyone, and it just travels from one hand to the next. The wheels of countless people can be concentrated, necessary materials and rituals. It's actually quite interesting. It basically just boils down to a kind of extremely effective witchcraft that takes advantage of the situation. But the reason it is effective is due to the nature of the origin, the primordial water. Based on the records, the constituent elements should be a circle of four orthants and a tree of emanation. Flow from the roots toward the center of the circle and the circle encircles the abstract of is akin to pipe crusts in the filling of the pipe, a matter for sure to excite Jacob. Uh, we'll need some suitably sophisticated terminology for the layman. Found on the ancient seal's general location, if the records are accurate, we should be able to confirm the specific site. We should also be able to determine the location of the four constituent elements, for as long as we find one, we can calculate the other, all other nodes. We arranged for members of this society to visit several candidate locations. We should be able to find traces of water and channels of higher quality and density. This is hilarious now. The secrets that ancient civilizations so carefully guarded, what a joke, turns out we've been, already been through the same countless times in our youth. Uh, in this late replica, we discovered supported calculations as the preludes to the apocalypse, the sea will... As for rumors about us in opposition to the society... Okay, go here. Uh, there was 8, 9, 9... Finally convinced her to follow us to the Gelstadt and is still under construction. She seemed apprehensive, but everything will turn out fine. We no longer have to fear the future. I have a lot of power at my disposal now. I have Jacob, the members of the society, and I generally know what to do. I agreed at last. Now we can obtain the most precious. After all, other than the fear mutants, you can no longer see the original in Fontaine. I am very satisfied with Jacob's design. The sense of mystery and ceremony is very intense. He may be a real knack for this. He may have a real knack for this. The rebuilding of the four orthans is near completion. And we have positioned our people based on the locations on the map. Reversing it and adding the power of the sword should be sufficient to control. All of us Fontaineans will be able to transcend in this way. 
shedding the limitations of physical form and separation and preventing the apocalypse. Got the sword, despite the cost. The director's condition is deteriorating. Hope she can hold on. Leaving the pocket watch here for the time for farewell has come. I'll be the first subject to part, so useless personality can be removed. To process Carter for, for rebirth, I failed him. Ellen will be impressed with me. Uh, Mary Ann will be delighted. Same with Jacob, since that fellow is like a brother to him. Yeah, everything will get better. So, Jacob, I hope you stop making that face. Farewell, I shall rediscover myself through water and be reborn through water. This is a tremendous feat that no one else in natural philosophy has ever attempted. If it fails, I won't have to worry about the future anymore. Huh. I'd take it if I were you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Okay, and now will be 10 that I don't have. 11. Shall be the passage between the primordial and the present. Deconstruct and reverse its utility. Internalize. Use to fully master. Matrimony of chemistry. Bonding of the elements. Circular ruins. Forced in the mirror. Send Lyris to, and Jacob to... Uh, most of the contents has been sold and is beyond comprehension. So now he's mentioning Lyris. Is Lyris the director? I, I don't think he mentioned her name. And did he go to the primordial sea? I guess. He returned then. 12. Three agents have been absorbed to date. Useful skills gained. Oh. Discovered from their memories that regarding the Ordo's existence, the Accord of Fontaine has officially very interesting mechanism. With the right organ, consciousness can be transplanted. One has the no has the knowledge to operate the mechanism understand the general idea after absorption that other than an experimental model all operated on a single simple logic tree an interesting attempt but the path he chose was regrettable rene would definitely think so jacob got emotional because he does not wish to oppose the guillotine siblings Decline, of course. Alan Guillotine said before leaving that it seems that there's no going back. Alan's he's only a genius when it comes to machines. In all other things, he's but ordinary. He does not understand the future. He does not even realize that we hit the point of no return long ago. I, however, will create the future and there will be a place for him and Marianne Guillotine in it. Okay, last one. Go to Elena's and carry out the above order together. By time. Let us meet again in the new universe in the pure sea of tranquility. All unclaimed articles should be turned in. So, neither of us saw anything here, right? Hmm... I'm not sure... If Jacob was fully evil, then maybe he just spent a long time alone here and... Uh, let me get back there. And uh, contemplation consists of symbols. Ah, uh, first begin to meditate. Rabbits can use to re enter mysterious previous inaccessible 
put it between yourself, okay. Because I thought there would be new stuff here by adding the pages back. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be any different from what it was before. Oh yeah, those that. Yeah, I don't remember if there was... I don't remember what enemies were around here. I just remember there was some wolf at the end. Let's see one of the other options because I thought the first section will be will bring me here. Uh, the first section pages. Ah, okay, that's it. So I can read them all again. Ah, nice. Okay, now, now I think I'm done with everything from 4.1. Actually, this may even be from 4.0. Okay, so now I want to do this quest here because it's bothering me and not letting me get near the... Uh, what's the name? The quest? Reputation quests. Huh? Uh, wasn't there supposed to be somebody there? Ah, there it is. What kind of attitude is that, Mr. Chank? And what about your attitude, Agent Dalla Charge? I'm helping you with the problem here. And did I ask for your help? What are you arguing about? Uh, good timing. Let me, let me explain. I'm Agent Dalla Charge from the Marshall Sea Phantom. Uh, investigating a case at the steam bridge. But this amateur keeps inter... Amateur? <laughs> Isn't he the direct... The editor there. Um, but this amateur keeps interfering with my de deductive process. I mean, just who is the investigator here? Well, this is kind of odd for an amateur to advise a professional. I was merely suggesting that she not jump to any conclusions. She's barely into starting investigating and she's already decided I'm the killer. <laughs> it's defamation, I tell you. Uh, it does sound like defamation, but it's important to find the... Oh, wait, killer? What happened? It's possible that an unfortunate newspaper employee has been, you know... Oh, it's so sad. What do you mean by you know? He's missing, that's all. Even if he's just missing, yeah. Uh, you're still mixed up in this, and that's because you drove him away, didn't you, Editor Jank? Uh, let's paint the scene. An idealistic young reporter finally gets a job with the newspaper of his dreams. He yearns to fight the evils of society with the power of his pen. But to his dismay, he discovered the newspaper is as corrupt as everything else, black, as, black of ink, black of heart. Valuable stories are ignored in favor of puff pieces uh, about popular music. His ideals are made with lies, his dignity trampled upon. Oh, it's such a sad story. Until finally one night, he awakes from a nightmare upon a tear sudden pillow and decides to flee the place that shattered his dreams. What are you, an investigator or a bad novelist? You are calling like a crow. Uh, so, Azure Chank, is this the truth behind his disappearance? You are his boss, are you not? Yet you deny our responsibility. Agent Stalchard, your imagination knows no bounds. May I suggest you hand in your badge and take up a job at our newspaper? We also publish fantastical stories, you see. 
fantastical, as if my deductions are entirely plausible. Quite plausible indeed, quite fantastical indeed. I don't know, I have no idea of what really happened. It's plausible, I just don't know how factual. Uh, Agent Talochard. Let me clarify. The missing employee is Sir Arthur. Conan Doyle? Ring any bells? Sir Arthur? I almost heard the name somewhere. We have? Sir Arthur is the string bird that gives. Ah, the string bird its name. Our symbol, our mascot. Yeah, I noticed he wasn't there, but I didn't. Uh. Oh, that's Sir Arthur, the one who stands by the door announcing the news. Yes, so a steambird that can neither walk nor fly. Uh, I failed to see how I could have driven it away. Wait, blessed you. You shouldn't have mentioned that before. Do you have something against me? Look, you're the one who turned up and started accusing me of murder. If anyone has an axe to grind, it's you. Oh, don't stop bickering. The important thing right now is to find Sir Arthur. Yes, I was right. Oh, Asher in Chief of Phrase. Uh, Agent Curve, you've returned. Uh, thank you for your help, Jane. You may go now. Asher in Chief of Phrase, hello. Uh, and who is this? Hello, it is a Paimon, and this is. Curve. Hello all, I am merely Curve, Agent Talichard's assistant. Uh, you can talk, like Sir Arthur. No, Agent Curve's special investigations drone belonging to the Marshalsea Phantom. He is remotely operated by someone back in the office. Isn't that the case, Agent Talichard? Uh, oh yes, that, yes, that's the case. Didn't know Fontaine had such advanced technology. Oh, well, unfortunately, this isn't the time to bring you up to date on our advances. Much as I will enjoy doing so, right now I need you both to help us with getting Sir Arthur back. Uh, us? You've already got two professional investigators. Yeah, this is our case. Uh, the thing is, Agent Talchard, neither of you are official investigators with the Marshal C. Phantom, are you? Huh? You watch what you say. This is a genuine uniform, I have no. But as I understand it, you were simply passing by and decided to start investigating of your own accord. I can't imagine why. I wonder if I should speak to the Marshal in Phantom and No no, there's no need. Okay, I admit it. Uh huh? What? You're impersonating Marshal in Phantom agents? No, to be honest, they're just agents who are a bit special. In any case, I'm grateful to Agent Curve, who told me some very interesting things while we were interviewing the local residents. Curve, what did you tell her? Uh, yeah, you know, Agent Talchard, the most of protocols require me to answer all of Asher and Chief Elfrey's questions, honestly. Most of protocols? Is that some kind of customer service agreement? Uh, those pesky protocols. I don't mean to offend agents, but Sir Arthur is of great importance to this team bird. And I would like to have more professionals on the case. In Zimpaimon, for example. Do you want us to join the investigation? Indeed I do. And on behalf of the team bird, I promise you'll be rewarded. What do you think? Very Excellent. I hope that you all work together. The newspaper will be most grateful. Okay, just don't tell the Mason that we are here on the sly. Wait, are playing hooky? Hey, let a girl have her secrets, so why don't you? Maybe when it, you, I know you better. Okay, Curve, if we are teaming up, we should show them our notes. Please take these statements, which we took from nearby residents. Oh, uh, have you got any leads then? Of course, we are good at your jobs. Uh, okay, so next we should investigate the scene. Sir Arthur's appeared last night. 
Oh, I didn't notice there was so many footprints here. So there should still be close, close to be found. Uh, resident testimony, uh, testimony from a resident near the Steamboat newspaper. A drunken vagrant. Oh, I know him. That's Rocher. Rocher. Uh, I've seen him near the docks. He's always begging for a drink from the vendors there. Honestly, Seems he wasn't like this before. Some strange things again. It's uh, really worrying. If you're asking about anyone suspicious, I'd always see a little kid doing going to the newspaper. But he never went inside, he just mostly around near Sir Arthur. Maybe he likes toys like that. If you're asking about anyone suspicious, I did always see a homeless drunk hanging around near the entrance to the newspaper. newspaper. Very close by. He seems to have slept there every night recently. Okay. An empty pedestal. If you look closely, you can see a notch left by a sharp implement. What's this? Based on the shape and depth, this was made by a small knife or something similar. So where's the knife now? Let's add that to our notes. Uh, a notch on the pedestal, a notch left behind by a sharp weapon. A slow cut by a sharp knife or dagger. Well, my dear, my readers, uh, same thing. Okay, yeah, now, now I can get those things. Yeah, I hate when there's quests on the way. Okay, if I have to get around there, I'll start it. A good newspaper should be a lighthouse of truth. Uh, massive footprints, a tank of footprints, no consistent depth or pattern. Uh, look at all these footprints, looks like quite a few people came by. Based on these patterns, they belong to four different people. The paper has already put a lead on this news and isolated on all non-related individuals. As such, we can assume that these footprints were left behind during the crime itself. Um, that Let's record this into in our investigation notes first. With footprints with reasons different depths, with different patterns intertwined and overlapping. They should belong to four different individuals. Huh, it should look at it. So not commonly found button, the show sign, a uh, button doesn't look like there's anything special about it, you know? Let's record the investigation first. Simple button. Commonly found button, that show sign of having its thread snapped. Uh, what else stinks? It's much fishy. Uh, uh, Residence this morning, let's record the investigation notes first. Dirty empty wine bottle. Dirty empty wine bottle from which a strange smell wafts, like a sea filled with salty fish. <laughs> the letter that seems to have already been opened. The writer's eyes into the wind. Pound doesn't get it. What's with this letter? To current investigation notes first. Come on, let me read that. Have you searched the entire scene? Are you sure you haven't missed anything? We got so much evidence. Footprints, a bottle, Paimon's brain is almost fried. Let's think, Ignis. Does this give us any leads? Maybe something that tells us what to do next? You didn't let me read about the letter. How many people are associated with the disappearance of Sir Arthur? Timber, if there's somebody who's suspicious, a kid. That. Yeah, Russia. That's probably the same guy. Oh. How many people? Uh, 
Ah. Uh, for different individuals or people. Needs to be clear. Now, but Paimon's not sure and he found is very useful. Paimon guesses the best lead is the fragrant rusher. I agree. One set of footprints must be his, right? And he sounds like the most suspicious. Why so? Well, he's a vagrant. The vagrants are meant to wander about. But he stays in one place. He's definitely up to something. I guess that makes a little sense. But I'm not sure that's entirely logical. Trust me, I'm right. Let's go and check out the docks. Someone said they saw him there. Yeah, seal letter. An envelope containing no particularly special information. If there is any information here, then it is the letter within is already gone. Oh, hang on, I don't have the quest active actually. Why? And search for doggy C. Oh no, that's what you need. That one. Dragon and scan. Go to the pier. Sing bird. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Okay. That's new. I haven't gone to the new areas yet. Is that an enemy? Uh, Humongous head jellyfish. Extremely elastic spontaneous creature that can suck in and launch characters into the air. Ah. Said the final evolutionary form and the headshot fish. Uh, energy of the Shalomish Wall Octopus can sometimes be used to move them in other locations. <laughs> oh. Cool. Valberry. Uh, is he from the gang? Man, Russia has been hiding here somewhere. He owns, so he has to pay. Find him for me. Uh, and as if not paying his debts was enough, he's made me chase after him. Which trash is placed in Rachel's leg? <laughs> Free puppy. What are you barking at? Stop, what are you doing? Huh. Who are you? Mind your own business. Uh, Director 42. Uh, look at the uniform. There are more shoes with Phantom. Maybe we should fall back. I don't care about who they are. Steal yourself, man, with me. Very well. What you got? Over here. Another test subject. My way now. Suffocate. Settle down. Let the mighty be humble. An oversight on my part. Not hunting. <laughs> Director for the the blonde one and the robot are difficult to handle. Was the robot helping? I didn't even notice. Less that mud, I slipped and fell. Guess Russia got lucky. Okay, let's move. Is there one? Is there a fighter? Ignus? Oh, that was nothing for him. Oof. Oh, no need to thank me, puppy. Uh, we are looking for your master. Does he own people money? 
Hey, listen, pub. Your master took Sir Arthur to pay off that, right? Spit out. Where's he hiding? In my humble analysis, this line of questioning will fail due to language incompatibilities. The pub looks at you as if to say, yeah, obviously. Then let's search the area. Uh, that thief must be s here somewhere. Mm. A pile of 30 empty wine bottles, a pile of 30 empty wine bottles from which a strange smell wets, like sea filled with solid fish. Those bottles, we found one of those by the steam bird. Yeah, but we already knew he went around there. Aren't these girl clothes? I don't know. Does it look like? A regular old clothes from who knows where, emitting an odd smell. Oh! Uh, old photo. A picture of a loving couple. Is this Russia and his wife? What's book doing? Curve. Information retrieves. The woman in the photo is. Yeah, I'm going to check there. After I check here. Huh. Oof, oof. Uh, is there something in the chest? Knock at the chest. Knock again. Knock again. Stop that. There's nothing here. No, in that case, you won't mind if we smash this chest open, would you? Oh, there's someone hiding in the chest. Don't hit me. So, you're a Russia? I don't have any more, not a single coin. It's okay, we chased the debt collectors off. How wonderful. And what a charming young Melusine you are. You're right. I am Russia, and when I make it big, I won't forget to reward you generously. To remind you, Teeth, we are with the Marshal's Phantom. We we're here to arrest you. You stole Sir Arthur last night, didn't you? Confess. Who did you sell it to? Me? Stole Sir Arthur? By the Hydro Archon. As if a person of my standing would do such a thing. And I've been hiding in this chest since yesterday evening. Oh, really? Curve was the verdict. Biodata normally identified. Mr. Russia, you are lying. You can detect that? Me? Lying? Nonsense. Calumny. Slender. Where's the evidence? The bottle by the steam bird. We found a bottle by the steam bird, just like the ones, these ones. You left it there, right? Even if the bottle is the same, it doesn't mean I left it there. Why? A place of the cell of the fountain must be full of drunkards like me. Result replicated by a data normally identified. Mr. Rocher, you're lying. Hey, what's with that metal bucket? If I'm going to have my honesty and nobility smeared, I want an actual person to do it. Let's shout in. Listen here, Tiff. We're going to turn this place upside down and shake it to see if, that, if any evidence falls out. So no crying when we find something. Look, then, look. Without real evidence, all you can do is insult me. From which retreat, the can is saying a smell. Okay, the dog. Puppy looks at you as if waiting for something. Huh. Let's see, can you smell the bottom? Don't be of any use, try something else. Okay, but can couldn't we notice that it had the same smell? Do we really need the dog for that? And what's he doing? I know he wasn't recognized the saint. The bottle must have, must have a Russian saint on it. 
Lombroso didn't have to. Roche, see, the dog recognized your scent. Do you still deny that you were at the newspaper office? Okay, calm down, won't you? And Lombroso, you traitor. Lombroso walks his tail happily as if saying, I don't understand. Okay, I admit it. Oh, Kurt, you were spot on. How did you know? Can you detect liars? Correct, Miss Paimon. Really? You're a lie detector? Hey, didn't we talk about praying to other people's private lives? Get to know us first. Hurry up and come clean, Rochette. What did you do? Uh, that's my private life, isn't it? <laughs> How dare you? Fess up or you'll be enjoying plenty of privacy in the fortress of Mirapid. No, okay. I admit I've told a few tiny little lies, but it didn't steal Sir Arthur, honest. I slept by the steam birds' angels last night, that's all. When I went to sleep, Sir Arthur was there, but when I woke up, he was gone. So I was worried people would suspect me. So I ran. That's not a full story, is it? We've been told you've been seen there a lot lately. Playing your heist, no doubt. That's not true. I was hoping to get some work there. You know, start off picking up litter. Then I made some big wig my spot your potential. And then, whoosh, your career turns off. It's like you were the one caught in, causing the litter with your stinky wine bottles. That's not going to impress any big wigs, that's for sure. I don't believe it. He's lying again. It's true. Let's, let me finish. I know how I look now. But I used to work at the Palais Mimont, yeah. Well, it was my wife that got me the job. Her family used to be a big deal and they still have some connections. Anyway, I used to be respectable. Really? I'm not sure which is worse, begging for food or relying on your wife. Don't say that. I wanted to become successful under my own steam, obviously. But that's when the problem started. A while back, some people offered to let me in on their business. Don't worry about the startup funds, they said. You can always. So I signed up. Huh. But I soon realized that the goods they were giving me were unsellable garbage, and then they started demanding I pay what I owe them. Were those people who were here? Yeah, I didn't have any choice but to pull things from home to get some money. But didn't realize that what I take him belonged to my wife. Something her grandfather left her. When she realized this, I was too scared to tell her the truth. So I said that I lost money gambling. She was furious and threw me out. Uh, why not tell the truth? Maybe she had forgiven you if she know. Uh, what does this guy know about telling the truth? If he claimed he lost it gambling, he could blame bad luck. If he lost it to own a bad business deal, you have to admit being a good for nothing loser. But what does this have to do with the newspaper? A month ago, the Steamboat reported a team of scammers, the elegant tableware confrery. Those were the people who conned me, professional con artists. Well, the Steamboat's pretty good at their job, huh? I know, that's why I wanted to work there. Uh, it would have been a respectable job, but I could have earned enough to get my wife's things back. Hmm, curve, is that true? Vereda has returned to normal range. Mr. Russia is not lying. Oh, so it really wasn't him. So, did you see anything suspicious last night? I did. I was woken up by some noise and I think saw someone. Someone very small running away. That's suspicious, right? So, a Melusine stole it. Oh, it could be the kid, but I don't think it would be the kid. Someone small, the statement from the residence mentioned a young boy. Could be him. Well, where would we find him? If only we had a pup who shows us the, the way again. Lombroso wags his tail happily. He seems to know he's being talked about. Now that you mention it, Lombroso has actually slain says as well. Why don't we see if he can pick up a saint? But I was not sure if it would work, but it's worth trying. I swear on my metal bucket that I'm not lying to anyone. Okay, 
Very perfect looks like it's waiting for something. Uh, I guess this could be for the kid. Or maybe it's the button. Okay. Button. Uh, where is it going? Quick, quick follow the puppy. But is the kid around here? On time comes to a certain spot with Lombroso. The puppet has stopped. Could the owner to the, or the puppet live, near, live nearby? Look, there's someone at home in the house over there. Let's go ask. Oof. How convenient. Different there as well. I don't know anything. Also, I hate your wall. Don't run, Kevin. Uh, search interrupt. You, what you guys want? Don't worry, madam. We're agents from the Brown Chelsea Phantom. And we were investigating a theft. A button linked to her family was found in, at the scene. Do you have any comments? Oh, I saw that on for Kevin just recently. But Kevin got a child. Kevin is a good child. He couldn't possibly be mixed up with theft. I knew it. Man, I regret to, s I regret to say it, raise a thief. Please be reasonable, agent. Even if this is Kevin's button, all the proofs that he was at the newspaper office. And why would he be there if not still? Uh, did you just say newspaper office? Yeah, how do you know that that's where the test happened? I no, you must have misheard me. I don't glad you're comfortable at this. Don't try and lie your way out of this. It will only make things worse for you and for your son. No, my son didn't mean to say anything. He only took the knife to defend himself. Knife? I thought you were looking for a mechanical steam bird. You mean Sir Arthur? But Kevin only had a knife when he came home. Madam Madeline, why did your son go to the newspaper? What did he do there? Tell us everything. Oh, my Kevin just adored the steam bird outside the newspaper office. Every time he goes, we go into town. He goes to visit it and tells it all his troubles. Yesterday evening, we had a bit of a fight and Kevin stormed off to the newspaper office. But this time he came back with a knife. He said he found it stuck in the steam bird's pedestal. So that explained the notch, but why did he take the knife? He said he noticed that Sir Arthur was missing and wanted to find it. But then some drunken man staggered towards him. He got scared and picked up the knife. Could we see the knife? I told him to go get rid of him. It I was worried it might cause trouble. The knife could be a clue. We'll need to ask Kevin where it is. I wish you could, but he's run off again. We're angry a lot at the moment, but about his father. You see, his father is a mechanical engineer posted outside the city. Kevin hasn't seen him in a, for a long time. He's having a bit of an uh, early rebellious phase. He's furious with his father for not being here. A problem child, huh? Not easy to deal with. Still, we'll 
need to find him and ask about the knife. Uh, there's no way Kevin would steal anything. <laughs> okay, let me just activate that. But that may never use, since we can swim around. Best of beasts, eat me if you can. <laughs> that is me caught by monsters. Uh, isn't that fine though? <laughs> That's probably how we were talking about it. And then most of these things we heard those. Uh, they got the problem, right? Who wants to take care of the kid? I'm on my way now. Stay cool and face your guilt. Yeah! Who are you? Why are you making such a unholy racket? Uh, you, you might want to try saying thanks. We just saved you. Thanks? Huh, what's up? Why the angry face? You gonna hit me? Kid, a thumping would, be, would do you good, but we're professionals. We're also phantom agents. We don't beat people in public. No, just in private. But we do need to ask you some questions. If you keep anything from us, we'll have to take you in. And then, well, we won't be in public, will we? <laughs> take me in? Sure, go ahead. And take him to in too. Uh, him? Who is that? What? Boland. That's his name. You should arrest him too. Is that your father? Is he a criminal then? Yeah, he's a criminal. And my so-called father, sure. But he hasn't even be home in a year. Arrest him for bad parenting. Ah, no wonder Madame Madeline said this guy used to complain to Sir Arthur. My one guesses that's the root of the problem. Complain? That's a laugh. I was working out how to set up his speech patterns. You haven't realized, I guess, that everything he says is programmed in advance. As soon as I figure out how to do that, I'm going to program him to say well, it's a big fat weasel all day, every day. So that's why you were hanging out next to Sir Arthur. Wow, you really are a problem child. But Sir Arthur disappeared last night, so I won't be able to finish my research. I don't know who took him. Uh, you don't think I took Sir Arthur, do you? Sure, I'm a problem child, but stealing a mechanical steamboat isn't one of those, those problems. In my humble analysis, Mr. Kevin, you, are, you have come into contact with a knife. Wait, this robot can speak? How does it do that? Is it the same as Sir Arthur? Uh, show us how much. Show how much you know. Uh, Curve is much more sophisticated than Sir Arthur. For a start, he doesn't need to be told what to say. Then, wow, you're awesome, Curve. Hey, could you say something for me? Say, Bottlelands of Big Fat Weasel. I know you can do it. First, you must prove that say statement is true. Prove it. What the, so that means you can do it? You suck. If Mr. Arthur could say that. Do not confuse Curve with others. He's no liar. Mm, well, I was going to tell you about the knife if he said it, but he didn't. So the deal's off. Listen, Brett, I don't think you understand. If you find Sir Arthur, you can carry on with your plan to slander your father, right? We are on the same side here. Oh, that makes sense, so... Okay, I'll tell you. I threw the knife into the sea, I'll mark this spot on your map. Now hurry up and find Sir Arthur. That's more like it, kid. Is there anything else you should tell us? The more we know, the faster we can find Sir Arthur. Let me think... We went... I went to the steamboat, but Sir Arthur wasn't there. Instead, there was the knife. Then a drunk man came at me, so I panicked and grabbed the knife to frighten him off. That's it. So that's what happened. Curve did spot any problems. In my humble analysis, Mr. Kevin's not lying. But I did notice anomalies with Madame Madeline's pupil dilation and breathing earlier. Was she lying? 
I am unable to confirm that. There was, however, a data fluctuation when she told us that his father is a mechanical engineer posted outside the city. Uh, I can explain that. She was lying. Pop doesn't know a spring from a spanner, as if he could be an engineer. My mother is very experienced liar. She practices on me every day, you see. So you wouldn't be able to tell. A little while ago, she brought a puppy home and said it was a present from my father. But I snuck a look at her letters and it was from some other man. Well, maybe that man is your new father, right? So congrats, kid. I hope your new father does a better job than the old drunken leech. No, uh, I might not like what you say, but at least you're being straight with me. I wish my mom would do that. Evan, don't dwell on that. Your mother is just trying to protect you. She's worried you won't be able to cope with having to deal with too much at once. I don't know. I don't want you to know. I, uh, it's knowing things that cause all my problems. No, no. It's the exact opposite. Your problems come from not knowing enough. Not knowing enough. For example, you still don't know that humans lack constantly. Your mother, your father, even you. That's the answer to your problem, kid. And when you realize that, you stop having such high expectations. Then you'll be a kid with answers, not problems. Answers? I'm <laughs> feeling kind of attacked. Uh, do you disagree? Unless you've never ever told a single lie. I don't remember, but I probably lied to somebody sometime. Uh, forget it. I don't need to know the answer. I rather like you right now, so let's not spoil this beautiful moment. The important thing is to find a knife. We've got to go, kid. Think about what I said and you'll find the answer you need. Don't listen to her, Kevin. Listen to Paimon. Go home and have a good talk with your mom. If she lied to you, it's because she had a good reason. I know, maybe I should go home. I really find answers in it. Hmm. 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 back home, but this can go on. Isn't it time to tell him? So, this is where Kevin got rid of the knife. Probably don't think it's time to get wet. I could, but we curve can go underwater. Unfortunately, I need to stay here with him. Why? Sorry, guess I'll up to you. You know what? We've already met a robot robot dog that could swim, but I'm gonna guess this curve isn't that advanced. How dare you suggest curves less advanced than a dog? He's just not feeling very well. What's that dog's name anyway? When curve is better, we'll have a competition and see who wins. Oh someone's being unnecessarily competitive. My home opinion we should be looking for evidence. Never mind, let's go diving, let's win the clues. Very hard feeling today. Motherboard temperature below warning line. Or car functionality 20%. And not much lower than yesterday. Keep it up, curve. Some carriage here. Let's have a look around. Nothing here. Look elsewhere.
Oh. Oh. Dead there. I didn't notice this. Nothing here. Scram product. Ah. Water stained diner, dinner knife. The water stained dinner knife. It looks like high eight silverware, but for some reason shows sign of rusting. Sharp curve, we got a knife. Here, take a look. Mm -hmm. This could match up with the notch on the pedestal, but it's just an like ordinary table knife. Why would any criminal carry one like that? Uh, maybe they ate at a restaurant and stole a knife there, then dropped it at the scene of the crime. And give your deductive skills one point out of a thousand. Relevant information retrieved. A month ago, the Steambird exposed a case of fraud involving the Elegant Tableware Conferee. The Elegant Tableware Conferee? Oh, I remember that. A knife like this was part of the evidence gathered. Huh, they must be responsible. Uh, there you go again, it uh, must be responsible. Really, we can head back to the office and confirm it. We've got enough time left today. Uh, I thought you two weren't real investigators. Can you really check up on our cases? Okay, I guess we're kind of friends now, so I'll tell you. I'm an evidence clerk with the Marshal Sifanto. As such, getting a piece of evidence from the stars is this busy. A what? Is that even a job? So, curve is. evidence, indeed. Uh -huh. Wow, the evidence is running around solving cases. And why not? You aren't even evidence, but you're doing the same. But didn't Attorney Chief Elfrey say it something about Curve being remotely operated? She was helping maintain Curve, Curve's cover. She seemed to know his story, which is why, which is that he's a light detecting robot. That's hard to believe. How come Paimon never heard of something like that incredible? Because he's being stuck in the evidence storeroom. Curve is a vital piece of evidence in a case dating back 30 years. Oh, so you're seriously investigating the shocking crime to identify the true perpetrator? As in my life's that exciting, I just got bored and decided to take Curve out for a walk. And that's it? Curve, what do you think? But that anomaly identified? The <laughs> digital chart, you're lying. Oh, I was just saying I was starting to like you, and now you're using the muscle protocols loopholes against me. Uh, the what protocols now? You mentioned those earlier or something, didn't you? My great creator, Dr. Mosso, added some rules to my core programming to ensure the accuracy of my light detection. Those rules require me to answer all questions with complete accuracy and honesty. So you can detect a lie, but not tell one. And if someone asks you a question, you're obligated to answer it. Correct, Miss Pymo? What clever rules. So, is this Mosso guy some top scientist at the Fontaine Research Institute? He was a top scientist until he passed away. He died 30 years ago and Curve became evidence. He died? How? Well, information retrieved. Dr. Mosso died in a duel attempting to prove his innocence after a court found him guilty. Why well, was he found guilty? Learn information retrieved 30 years ago. Stop, stop. You're okay. You keep asking questions, and if you keep asking questions, Curve has to keep answering them. Our priority should be finding Sir Arthur. Actually, Chief of Frazier will be too upset if to eat if we don't find him. Paimon finds that unlikely. 
Well, well, anyway, Kirby and I are going to see what we can find out about the night. Let's meet first thing tomorrow at the Palace Mermonia. But I'm so curious, couldn't you indulge her this once? We'll indulge you tomorrow. How about we make you a delicious breakfast? Oh, breakfast. Okay, looking forward to it already. See you tomorrow morning then. Okay, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> They've gone. Paimon can't help but feel there's something going on at, on their end, though. Let's not stick your nose in other people's private lives. You can be nosy about it tomorrow. Yeah, it's been a busy day. We should get some rest. We meet them at the Palace Mermonia tomorrow. Uh, uh. I guess I'll unlock that. Ah, that's the edge of Fontaine already. Mm, I think I just that one. Supposed to go there. Uh, I don't think I can just go there <coughs> with that. to the next day. Oh, we'll never be there. Morning, morning. Good morning. Morning, hey Talisharan, how come there's no desk in here? Uh, there just isn't. We don't need desk for our work. Anyway, and this bench is awesome. Look, it has comfy cushions. And that's a that's a breakfast. Uh, sit down quick. 
come try the delicious breakfast I made for you. Well, thanks, Sunshine. Well, what is this? It smells a little odd. That's my special posa chan pie. It's even tastier than the usual recipe. It does smell odd, but that's why it's special. You picked by more interest. What about you, Inus? Curve, what do you think? Analysis of the composition indicates eating this could be a difficult trial. Forget it, I'll let you try it, Paimon. You're tougher than me. Awesome, we're real tough cookies. Now Paimon tries it. Not eating. Then Paimon will finish our portion too. Waste not, one not. Yeah. Paimon starts to show down and scarves down a full portion and a half the odd smelling pie in the blink of an eye. Half an hour later, she comes back from outside, clutching her belly. Oh, just when you disappear too. If you are still hungry, there's more. I made lots. Uh, thanks, Alshar. No need though. Paimon just went for a quick rest. And there's still some pie left. Uh, and so why, don't you, why don't we box it up for later? Uh, your expressions wasn't tasty. I thought I did a good job. Perhaps you are tough enough? Uh, Paimon knows why they call it a poster. Uh, poster chen pie now. The poison are in Paimon's guts changing. We want to swim back out. Oh, that sounds absolutely awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Paimon's better already. Anyway, the problem is Paimon's preferences, not your cooking. Back to business. Did you get any info about the knife? Oh, right. Paimon forgot we we're supposed to be working now. Okay, so about that, we did find something that might be useful. This is a knife from the Elegant Tableware Conferry. The people who say Russia owes them money. Yeah, they masquerade as a legitimate business claiming their tableware is favored by Fontaine's upper classes and can be sold for hefty sums. People like Roche often fall for it. They pay a fee to join and get a pile of flaws at the table in return. Then they try to sell it for enough to make back their initial investment and then some. But the table itself is unsellable junk, so the victims have no choice but to find other tools to pass the battle on. Other fools to pass their battle on. I hear they call it expanding their downline network. Sounds pretty familiar. See, humans are creatures full of lies, but it seems like Russia didn't expand his downline network. In terms of ethical human relations, Mr. Russia's morals exceed the level of the average person. He didn't continue to bring in more victims. Oh, so maybe his wife isn't the worst judge of character. But his financial acumen is way, way below the average. In the end, his poor wife had to deal with the fallout and took the losses. Uh, that's true. But weren't they exposed by the paper? Can't you guys track down the money and help them recover the losses? Our colleagues got involved some time ago and made multiple arrests, but the ringleader is a crafty one and immediately claimed that the perpetrators of the scam were temporary employees. Most importantly, he kept all their accounts completely separate. As a result, recovering the losses is proving extremely difficult. Is there nothing you can do about it? Uh, we can push things for today. I got the location of their possible hideout, and I'll be investigating later. Well, we found their lair. Uh, the Marshall Phantom is more capable than you think. Considering the facts of this case, I know... I now have reasons to believe that Sir Arthur was stolen by the elegant table conferry. Although it does sound very likely, it's best if you don't act so certain of it. Yeah, we'll know once we get there. Let's go. What is in the dining table? Uh, the, based on the Asian Talchus analysis, this item belongs to the elegant table conferry. An association that was once exposed by Steambird as a gang of swindlers. Can we enter here? No. Just back there. 
There he is. Okay, where to? Hmm. Huh? Would that be the same? Uh... What was his name? It wasn't. It wasn't his name. Virgil. Same place where Virgil was hiding. Yeah. Mm, so they're based underwater. Since we must go down, how troublesome. Given Carl's condition, Bessie didn't get wet, but since we had no choice this time. Uh, I said so last time, too. How's Curve? He's already 30, his scoring companies are all starting to get old, so he's got to maintain a thirst you cannot earn. young, isn't it? There is nothing, not young. Yes, he is. Oh, damage. Yeah, what's she saying, 30 is not young? Aren't she like 400? We're here? No, uh, let's see. Sure, there are a lot of them in there. What should we do? Charging, beat them up, and make them confess. Yeah. Don't be so violent, Paimon. They are already frightened on the, and on the edge. They might destroy the evidence if you give them another scare. Uh, that's true. Then let's the king find the evidence and then beat them up. How do we have to beat them up? I don't like sneaking around. Near the Paimon, so it's possible to distract them. There must be something here we can use. Curve, have hide and wait here for us. You're too big not to get spotted. Uh, just come over once we're done. As wish. Then let's hurry up and figure out how to lure them away. Yeah, I lost the talk about you. So the nose is in progress. Once you have sipped into the motherboard, motherboard temperature below warning line. Core functionality 19%. Okay, so you seem to be doing fine. Covertly find a way to. Uh... Ah, okay, so. I don't know if we spotted. Okay. I just that it seemed that I could blow up explosive barrels. We could make use of the boy from say distance. Uh, this test chest, what if I'm hiding inside and make some noise? Then you guys can go look for clues while they come over to investigate. Then they work? Sure give it a try. Doesn't sound like work. Once cuisine, once there is no hidden, starts shaking the chest. Someone's over there, by the chest, intruder alert. Uh, this place is way too dumb. Why give me the option then? Damn, that's hard. <sighs> Come on. This pot has chicken legs in it. It's some cooking. How about adding some seasoning to put them to sleep after their meal? We have that. Or we can do something else to drive them away. Nice idea. Check our bag for unuseful seasonings. 
looks cute, she might cause too much problems later. Oh, Paimon has a feeling you'll be super effective. And how could you put that in there? It's an insult to my culinary talents. The metal chart, you're cooking my head up, making a very significant contribution here. But I'm certain they wouldn't be able to overcome the trial of toughness it poses. Really? Then fine, let's hide and watch what happens. Once chow time is shouted, the entire elegant tableware conferee starts gulping down the food with extra seasoning. It doesn't take long before one by one subtle changes begin to appear on their faces, and then they start running towards the exit and their, with their hands clutching their stomachs. See, Telechar, they're experiencing the power of Post uh, Chum Pie. Just as, like I said, Mm, I'm incredible. I'll go get curved. Now we can search for evidence to our heart's content. Mm, oh, clockwork locket. An arcade clockwork locket. Looks quite old. What's this? Looks like it opens. Oh, yellow portrait girl. Uh, there's a photo in there. Who is she? Database responding, database responding, database responding, failed to retrieve information. A triple failed curve, your database wouldn't respond without having relevant information, right? The water get inside you. Hmm. Let's put it away for now. I'll let curve take a look later. Look, 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 lock it. A roaming amount of Tupperware is scattered all over the table in a messy yet charming pile that is ripe for the taking. A table knife. A table knife just like the one left outside the sting bird. It must be them. Is it safe? Diary of Valiant Struggle. Oh, oh! We never have pages. After getting to the, after getting the boot from the order of the fruit, I was really down in the dumps. Luckily, I've joined a new group, so I'm feeling a little better. These new group's operations are a little different from the last ones. Anyway, let's go and trap the Falberry. Crashable fruit, my brother, you were always in my thoughts. I can't believe the higher ups sent Kala Lily to hunt you down just for the formula that to that stupid potion. I guess you are plum out of luck now, huh? But don't worry, I made a big ruckus in the order of the fruits in your defense. They may have kicked me out over it, but I've got no regrets. I only hope your soul can rest in peace. No one else knows this. But I've also put lots of blue fruits in my new home to remember you by. Uh, looks like only four of the five great operatives of the Order of the Fruits now remain. I finally received my first mission to get money off some guy named Rocher. That old dog's got no shame, refusing to repay his debts like that. I went out there and sucked him twice before he coughed up a pile of junk. The only thing in there that looked like could be worth anything was this locket. It looked like a woman's, surely not his wife, right? Unbelievable. Who in their right mind would marry a guy like that? Seems like something happened today. Directors 2 through 41 were all taken away. Supposedly, the Steambird blew the lid off our business and got the Marshalsi Phantom involved. Luckily, I'm new, so I'm safe for now. But I don't get it, aren't we just in the regular old cutlery business? Whatever, it doesn't matter. To repay the boss's kindness, my first order of business is to pay that paper little beast. I originally planned to tear them a new one, but the boss says that we should keep a low profile for now. I guess I started that dumb bird at the door, then. 
A knife through the bird's head should send them a message loud and clear, right? Since the other directors were taken away, I'll go to the boss after the job's done and tell him what I've done. He'll be so happy. He might even give me a promotion. Let's go, Interrupt Fowlberry. Away. Oh, the guy is screwed. Uh, who cooked this guy? Uh, who cooked today? Kill. Find him and kill him. Boss, 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 I'll immediately, uh, I'll find the cook. Uh, this age right here is today's chef, so who's going to kill me? Marshall's Phantom, agents, how did you, uh, how did you get in here? I don't think you've got time to worry about that right now. We've obtained evidence of your crimes. Evidence, but officer... All of them were temporary workers, and didn't you arrest them already? We're working on another case right now. All of you are suspects in a plot to get revenge against the Steambird for, by stealing Sir Arthur. The paper? Impossible. I never held any grudges towards them. In fact, I even wanted to thank them for pointing out the flaws in our business model. Uh, you're good with words, but what we will do once we show you this? Um, diary, a record of the life experience of a striver, knife those the birds straight through, this should be good enough warning for them. See, director for two admitted in the diary, busted. You fool, didn't I tell you to keep low profile for now? But boss... Are we supposed to just lie down and take it when they're bullying us like this? The Marshal's Phantom, boss, uh, officer, with all due respect, this fool is just a temporary employee. He hasn't even passed his probation period. And uh, since he's suspected of breaking the law and committing a crime, I have no choice but to fire him in the spirit of justice. Hey, how much longer are you planning on using the same old trick? Oh, fire me. Why, boss? Didn't you just say earlier that I'm the only one here who has always been loyal to you? Who are you? What are you talking about? You're fired. We had nothing to do with each other from now on. Taking away honor agents, he's all yours. Boss, you betray me. Uh, you dirty double timing dog. I'll take you down with me. <laughs> Another test subject. Oh. Okay. Uh calm them down. Suffocate. Um but there are two against two. I thought that guy would be fighting alone yeah. against the boss and the others. How's this? Damn, they take too long. Yeah, they they'll probably just turn their things to me after the final one has died. Come on. Why can't I change? Oh, uh, I guess my... Uh, I'm still alive. But it seems my internet... Let's begin. It's bugging. Oh, damage. I'm still alive. Another test subject. Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay, the good. Beckon. Settle down. There, that's faster. The wrong test subject. How you blittering idiot? How dare you go against me? You filthy, traitorous but You can't stop me. Alright, alright, that's enough. Just play nicely now, would you? Hey, redhead, hurry up and fess up. Where's Sir Arthur? Hey, cut it out, shorty. I'm not on your side either, unless you're willing to do me a favor. Help me convict this traitorous backstabbing thief of a felony and make the rest of his life a living hell. 
Then I'll try my best to cooperate with you. Hmm, the Marshal's Phantom never negotiates with criminals, but with the evidence we already have, the quality of the rest of his life won't be too different from what you are hoping for. Uh, don't do that. So, are you going to come clean now? Alright, fine, I'll tell everything. I didn't actually take Sir Arthur. Uh, I know it's strange, but someone got it before me, so I just stuck the knife there as a warning. Uh, so, it isn't over. It wasn't there? You're lying, right? Uh, you, you got this curve. Uh, it's your time to shine. No anomalies detected in Mr. Interactive Robert's data. What? You really... It wasn't this redhead. So, did you see anything at the scene? I saw really smelly drunk lying on the ground, just like the data rusher. All I wanted to was to stay well away from him. And then it's Russia, right? Is there no one else? If there's nobody, you're gonna have to give us someone. Uh, you could short the trail if uh, we were following. And you're going to have to take responsibility for it. You're just making things difficult for me. You can do it, Mr. Tarbot Belberry. You even fought back against your own boss. Fine, you're right. Let me think over for a moment. In Dark for two, can I say something? Some significant lacking <laughs> for guy. Uh, what? Do you have any leads? Uh, no, I don't. Then just wait a minute. Uh, can't you see I'm wrecking my brains right now? I've got it. I just remember something. Even to the... F I went to the flow center in search of a locksmith because I needed their help to break into the paper's office at night and wreak havoc. But wouldn't you know, uh, I ran into someone who was also trying to find a way to sneak into the paper. Who was it? What was, was her name? I don't know, but he was dressed like a member of the Fatui. Hmm. The Fatui? Them again? Just may be absent, but the Fatui never are. Uh, what did he do after that? How would I know? I'm not some sewer stalker. Uh, this time, it's certain he's the one who stole Sir Arthur. But every certainty of yours has been wrong so far. It's certainly different this time, don't you remember? There were four pairs of footprints at scene, so there were four suspects at the most. At most. The Fatus is the fourth suspect. What if it isn't him? Hey, don't look down on me. I'll bet my uniform on it, alright? If I'm wrong again, I'll quit and stay home. Calm down, right? Let's not be too hasty. Hey, Redhead, can you find a guy? Why don't you just try your luck in the fourth center? I see him there on more than one occasion. Someone dressed as a fatus in Flow of Center, he, if he really is there, he won't be a difficult to spot. Alright, let's do that. We'll take these criminals back first and then head over to the Flow of Center. Don't forget your promise. You better convict the Joe Timing Trader. Pin him to the wall. He just ran off. Uh, don't worry, neither of you were going anywhere, huh? Wait, where is he? Where did their boss go? He was just there a moment ago. Oh, uh, well, he snuck off in that direction while we were distracted. I wanted to say something sooner. Well, I wanted to, but you kind of stopped me, didn't you? Come on, that was way sooner. That's Nick conniving in Darnage. He knew his life would be a living hell, so he fled. Hey, how about you let me go get him for you? There you go. What do you think, Curve? This my analysis, Miss Robert. That he's telling the truth. Then get going, Redhead. Don't disappoint us. Um, don't worry. I'll, I give you my word as a man. Uh, really? Are you, are you just gonna let him go, just like that? What's wrong with that? Someone deceives another. Shouldn't we support the victim of getting the revenge? Well, we already learned that this is not really the law here. I know what it's like to feel angry after being tricked. Oh, Curve, you should be taking note of this. As you wish, I have recorded the behavioral and psychological data of everyone involved in my light learning module. 
Then let's stop wasting time here. Our primary objective is to take the others back to the Marshall's Phantom and then get to the Flow Center. We score the criminals back to the Marshall's Phantom and without a moment's rest, we immediately rush to the Flow Center, the haunting grounds of the other suspects. Come on, I hope this, this is it. Mm -hmm. oh, we're at the flow center now, we're to begin a search. Let's go spot a large crowd, someone put a uniform stick, stick out. Look, isn't that the guy? Uh, you are here. Uh. So, did you bring the goods? Who are you? What are you talking about? Uh, that's not the code. Who are you? Shoot, I gotta get out of here. Uh, we're exchanging pass phrases now. Forget that. Hurry, don't let him get away. Uh, I finally caught you, but why run like that? It was exhausting. Yeah, next time somebody flees like that, the second time, I'll, I'll let them go and see where they get you. Stop, stop chasing after me. I haven't done anything wrong. Why run if you're innocent? Uh, that won't hold up in court. Why don't you tell me what crimes I've committed, huh? You stole Sir Arthur. Hey, hey, I didn't steal that. I'm quite certain someone stole it now, aren't we? Oh, crud. Uh, don't even think about trying to weasel your way out of this. We even know you've been looking for a way to sneak into the paper's office. Take a look at my uniform and then take a look at your own. Are you trying to cause an international crisis? You want to say bye-bye to your life? No way. It's that serious? Uh, no, after I complete this mission, I'll be able to retire early. Don't be like this. Then why don't you try making this a bit easier for me? Huh? If you make things difficult for me, then it's only fair that I do the same. Picture your retire life for a moment. Then you sit down to eat, you look across this and see me. Every day you go on, I'll be your chaperone. And for every trouble for the day, I'll be there too, smiling. No, stop. That's enough. Don't terrify me like that. I'll come clean, alright? It's not like it's a secret anyway. I'm Bollard, a peripheral intelligence officer. What peripheral means is that I'm not very important. I was tasked with locating a research base uh, belonging to a scientist known as Mosso Lombroso. Mosso Lombroso? Isn't that Dr. Mosso? You've heard of him too? He passed away some 30 years ago, and his research base is said to contain valuable information, but no one knows its location. What does this have to do with the steam bird? Because Dr. Mosso's death is linked to the steam bird, I'm sure the paper knows something. It's linked to the paper. Correct, that's why I contacted one of their editors, Cenk, hoping to get the inside scoop. Isn't that the editor who was arguing with Talishard? Uh, would he reveal the paper's inside info? I sent him a small gift. Do you recall that the paper recently exposed the elegant tableware conferee scammers? I provided the detail of their crimes. Well, so you did that? You're really amazing, huh? Uh, thank you. Though I may only be a peripheral personnel, I'm one of the better ones. Anyway, the exclusive report gave Jenks reputation quite a boost. But when I contacted him again, he said I had nothing to repay me with. Utterly despicable. Uh, that's when he decided to sneak in. Indeed, but I noticed something odd when I got there the night. Uh, the signature steamboat at the door was gone. It vanished before it arrived. Uh, not again. That's right, and there was an envelope on its pedestal. Acting on my instincts as intelligence officer, I opened the envelope. 
To my surprise, it was full of threats. What's the envelope at the scene? How could you sneak peek at someone else's letter? Let us look, too. Uh, luckily, not kept with me. Please help yourselves. To the thin bird. Moses death 30 years ago is still on my mind. Whatever I think of your paper's rhetoric, which intentionally passes off falsehoods as truth, I simply cannot suppress my indignation. As such, I have taken Sir Arthur captive. I eagerly await your newspaper's sincere repentance, issue a public apology, and surrender Moses legacy. Should you continue to spin a web of lies that obfuscates the truth, I will, left, I will be left with no choice but to slay the steam bird, crow or blackbird. <coughs> mm. uh, are you done? The one who signed it, crow or blackbird, is the criminal you're looking for? Uh, but is this for real? Is the new paper really linked to Dr. Tramoso's death? There's no mistake, the inheritance mentioned here is probably Dr. Moss's research base. The paper definitely knows something. Later on, I put out some fillers in my circles, hoping the scroll or blackbird would be willing to meet with me, if she's in the same line of work that is. How do you know it's a she? Best case scenario, we can work together, and even if that fails, I didn't want to raise her. I didn't want her to raise any alarms, as it would only disturb my work. But that, but as it turns out, we are the only ones who showed up. Talchard, it seems you made a mistake again, huh? Talchard, what's wrong? Curve, tell me now. Tell me this guy's lying. Biological indicators detected are too normal. Mr. Bollard is telling the truth. Darn you, Upper referral, why aren't you the culprit? You've lost me in my uniform. Calm down, Tal Charge, we weren't serious. Don't pay any mind. But I mind, I was serious. I care about whether I'm useful. I said I would figure out from among the four suspects, yet none of them was the culprit. I guess I'm just completely useless. After in Chief Elfrey's, he was right to ask for your help. I should just take off this uniform and leave. Relevant information detected. Agent Telchard, you can be useful. You can write for the Steambird's fantasy column, just like Editor Jenks suggested. That's not comforting in the least. Hmm. Would it be better to just name Mr. Bollard a criminal? At least that might make Telchard feel better. <laughs> uh, Miss Pymo, are you suggesting that I lie? Can lies be a source of comfort? That doesn't count as a lie. Paimon means that when you're comforting someone, sincerity is what counts. For example, when Paimon is worried about gaining weight from eating too many slimes, things may say that Paimon would still be cute if she gets fat, or something like that. Yes, I would sincerely comfort Paimon. No, I would feel sorry for the slimes. No, I would just call Paimon for being a gluten. I mean, with most people, I'll try to comfort them, but with Paimon, I'll probably call her a gluten. Hey, you're supposed to take Paimon's side. Uh, that's enough. Curve can only analyze biological data. He can't understand all of that. Forget. You can go, Bollard. Thank you so much. Uh, Tall Shard, you... Paimon is... I know you two are both amazing and tenacious. But I'm just a stupid piece of dead wood that is always rolling downhill and finding new lows. I break at the slightest touch, I'm sorry, but from here on out, I'll just leave everything up to you. I'd like to buy you both uh, uh, I like to buy both of you dinner one last time tonight. We'll go to a nice fancy place like Hotel de Board, so you won't have to eat the trash I make. Good. My Pamela hates farewell dinners. Curves, curve talk some sense into her. Agent Talonhard, I suggest you reconsider writing for the Steambird's fantasy column. Alright, that's enough. I really need to think things through. Anyway, I'll see you all at the hotel double tonight. Don't forget to come. 
I'm no stall chart straightforward person, but it still feels so sudden. Was today really that bad? It probably wasn't just about today. I hope she gets better by tonight. Let's get some rest too. My mom's quite tired after so much of eating. Bollard's testimony, according to Bollard, he has he had been to the scene of the crime before, but when he arrived, Sir Arthur was already missing. At that time, he noticed a letter at the scene. His intelligence operatives sticks kicked him, leading him to open the letter, read it, and take it with him. Confirm footprints. The footprints of Roche, Kevin, Interpreter Walberry, and Bollard, based on Agent uh, Telechart's analysis, they are the same as the footprints that appear near the newspaper. Threatening letter. The famous Crow and Blackbird letter used to threaten the Steambird newspaper. But due to the efforts of Bollard, an unrelated person who came out of nowhere. This threat was unsuccessful. Melusines are beautiful creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that guy just vanish? Talshard Paimon and good evening. <laughs> you on top of great. Talshard, your clothes. You haven't resigned already, have you? Not just yet. I just took off my uniforms because it makes me feel much lighter. So, do I look good in this? Not bad at all. It looks much better. Even your voice sounds gentler. This must be the right life for me. Since I can do anything well, it's best not to do anything at all. Stop thinking like that. It just so happened to be a really tricky case. It isn't, it isn't just this case. Have you heard of Fontaine's aquabus? That's how we caught Fontaine. They must have taken the Clementine line, right? Evo is the tour guide there, and Elfane is in charge of the Navia line. Actually, I used to be a tour guide too. I was the guide of the third line, the Kalos line. I used to travel to the Fountain Research Institute, but service has was suspended due to the incident. Oh, you see the tour guys, that's awesome. It's not awesome at all. Tour guides aren't exactly the elite. Being assigned as a tour guide is what happens when you are bad at being an agent. Also, the others are just bad agents. Oh, so you returned to the Morsos Phantom because the line stopped operating? Not quite. I was laid off due to complaints from tourists. Some praised me in person, but wrote complaints as soon as they got home. They say my voice grates like a crow. I couldn't accept it. Oh, I don't mean to the complaints. I couldn't accept that they told me I was doing well to my face, then clearly had a problem with me. I'll let you in a secret. Edward Jane was the first complaint that I sound like a crow. He's such a hypocrite. No wonder you were arguing with him back then. My mom sort of gets it now. Let's not dwell on annoying stuff like that. Now the time to focus on enjoying some delicious food. Hotel de Boer was recommended by the official tourist guide. I may not like it, but I think you might. Thanks, Top Charge. But shouldn't we wait for Curve? He's not here yet. He's fine, he doesn't eat this kind of thing anyway. He just wants to record Hotel de Boer's data into his light learning module. His light learning module? Curve is really special. Yes, I am very happy to have met him. However, his score is aging rapidly, so he will go into hibernation mode soon. Uh, his body parts can be replaced, but not his score. Hibernate, I'm trying to say... He will stop moving forever. 
Uh, I'm really just completely useless, aren't I? <coughs> I can solve many cases as an agent, I get complaints as a tour guide, and let's not even talk about my attempts of making breakfast. Now, I can't even manage to evidence properly. Did you sneak out to try to get curve repaired? Uh, no one, but Dr. No one but Dr. Moso can repair curve. I just wanted him to see more about how humans lie and help him overcome the Moso protocols. Overcome the Moso protocols? Why? That would be amazing. Curve could be even become a genuine human. Feels like Paimon just heard something incredible. Dr. Moso's true goal was to create a machine that would gradually become human by understanding lies and humanity. That's Curve's ultimate form. Legends say that a Fontaine of science called Alan Guillotine created an amazing thinking machine hundreds of years ago, and Dr. Moso seemed to want to surpass that. Huh. Thinking machine made by uh, Alan Guillotine, could that be Seymour? I don't think we needed to have done that quest. But can understanding lies make someone human? Dr. Moso believed that humans have various reasons for lying, with various feelings underlying those reasons. It is those emotions that make them human. So he created a no lying protocol. If Curve learns to lie like humans one day, then it means that he is no longer bound by his machine programming and has acquired human emotions. We are out here investigating cases because I wanted him to see how humans lie. I want him to learn. They will definitely can give up. Shouldn't we fight harder to give Curve more time? But how? Dr. Moss is gone now. But his research base is still out there. Right, there must be a machine manual, a maintenance manual or something. I went through every day, I went through everything already and didn't find anything about the base. How about the newspaper? Would they have any leads? Didn't the Fatu say something like that too? The guy was an amateur. If the Marshall Phantom doesn't know, then the newspaper certainly won't. We're just looking for excuses, Dollar Charge. You are actually just afraid of failure, aren't you? I. No one fails forever. Uh, if uh, you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. I've hit rock bottom. Yeah, you even took off your uniform. So I won't fail anymore. That's right. Thank you, right? That's right, you absolutely will not fail again. In my humble analysis, Miss Pymo is lying. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Curve, uh, couldn't you have just shown up a little bit later? But shall such lies have a chance to mold reality? What are you talking about? Curve, lies molding reality. 30 years ago, Dr. Mosso and I performed our first public test in Hotel de Bourg. At the time, there were only 4 tables, 8 chairs and a waiter, who was also the owner. He said to me, Restaurant de Bourg would certainly become a renowned luxury hotel. It was just like Miss Paimon's statement, a lie based on sincerity. But today, as you can all see, the board has exquisite carpeting, expensive decorations, two dining areas, and an endless stream of guests. I think that if the lie about the board became true, then the statement that Agent Touch Luchar will not fail again has the possibility of coming true. Shutting down the lie learning module. Uh, was Oscar being a little odd just now? What was he talking about? It's a light learning module, uh, it resides in Curve's core, and once it's enabled, it makes Curve spill a bunch of logical nonsense. I'm starting to doubt Curve's reliability, I think Curve has a point. Well, I don't think that some humans say things that don't make sense. Does that mean Curve is improving? It does. Tala Charge, are you going to give up just when Curve is showing signs of improvement? Uh, well, can you please say that thing again? Say what? Uh, you hit rock bottom. 
You absolutely not fail again. Not this right. So you won't fail again. I get it. Then I'll try again. One more time. If Curve is still learning, then I have to help him. Wow, Telecharge really is like a child sometimes. She gets moody so quickly. But also perks up just as quickly. Sounds like you, Paimon. Is Paimon not mature enough? Even shard and tell charge. Relax, spam we're pretty mature. Even shard. Oh, just talk the chit chat. We should take action at once. Since the newspaper might know something, let's keep our eyes on the prize and keep investigating the debt. Since there are four of us, why don't we each roleplay as a suspect and recreate the crime scene? We might even find a breakthrough. Oh, well, tell shard's brain is working fast. Paimon likes that idea. Let's go to the steamboat now. Come on, this is taking too long. <laughs> and this was just a word quest that popped up out of nowhere in front of the place that I have to go every week. And I couldn't go there without starting this quest. You're the smallest here, Paimon, so you'll be Kevin. I'll be Dirty Rusher. Mr. Bollard is here for Dr. Musso, so. So let her be him. And I'll be. The one that's left is the redhead. The left head is huge, I thought he would be him. And I'll be the Fatui. Alright, everyone's got their roles, so let's reenact the night of the Sir Edward's disappearance. What did all these guys do? Uh, the first thing to reenact is in the order of the arrival. Okay, first him. Uh, first, which one was the first scene? Archie Bollard, he had been to the scene of the crime before. When he arrived, Sir Arthur was already missing. At the time, he noticed a letter in a scene. His touch of virtue is 6 king, leading him to open the letter, read it, and take it with him. Uh, well, the two of them saw him. Which was had been seen crime before, and there had been a text and a touch. The way he awoke. Oh! Okay. He was there before and he's sleeping. I forgot that he saw the new stab with the knife and the new Corrigan trap with Valberry had been on the same point before, but when he arrives, Arthur was already missing. Now, as an act of retaliation, he took out the dinner knife and stuck it in there to say, Now this is a warning for them. In addition, he saw the smelly drunk as far as Rocher. And according to Kevin, he had been on the same crime with the same form, but when he arrived, Sir Arthur was already missing. All he saw the scene was an old drunkard and a knife. Driving himself from the drunkard, he grabbed the, the knife and fled. The button have, must have accidentally come off of his clothing as he fled. It's not a hypothesis. This is what they all said in heaven. Incredible, it is absolutely correct. I am the first to arrive. I'm Roche, the middle-aged man who was kicked out by his wife. I've been loitering around here because I'm trying to get a job at the paper. On the night of the incident, I drank a little and I remember Sir Arthur sitting on its precious pedestal before I got completely drunk. Later on, I fell asleep by the road and then... I'm Ballard. The second suspect to arrive at the scene, I immediately noticed that Sir Arthur wasn't here where I should be. So the real thief is told Sir Arthur between the time of my arrival and Mr. Rocha's falling asleep. And the criminal left a letter full of threats for the paper. Next to my intelligence officer's instinct, I read the letter left by the thief and took it with me from the scene. After that, I'm next up. I'm Intrepid Valberry, director 42 of a criminal gang. 
I want revenge on the paper. So I plan to run Sir Arthur straight through. But Sir Arthur was gone when I got there. I was furious. But there was nothing I could do. I just tapped the knife in the pedestal to scare them and left. It's finally Paimon's turn. I'm Kevin, a problem child. I'm here to get Sir Arthur to spread the word about that my dad is a big fat whistle. But Sir Arthur was gone and there was a knife in its favorite pedestal. I tried to look for it, but all I found was a smelly old man. Some humble came up and that terrified me. I took the knife to defend myself and run as fast as I could. I didn't even notice when a button got torn off my clothes. Indeed, I'm the smelly old man. The commotion Kevin made woke me up and I vaguely caught sight of him running off with something. After that, I looked toward the paper's office and saw that Sir Arthur was missing. I was afraid of becoming a suspect, so I hurried back to my usual haunt at the docks. Is this everything that happened? Final things are reenactment went perfectly. But what did what did you miss anything? The threatening letter. That's right, you forgot about the letter. Since the thief's motive is tied to the incident from 30 years ago, the paper should have some idea about the thief's identity, right? Yeah, but the paper is still in the dark on all, all this. We should deliver this letter to them immediately. How could we have overlooked something so crucial? Because all of you were too busy trying to console me. I'm so sorry for being a burden. You shouldn't think like that. No, Charge, haven't you read through Dr. Mosul's case files? Those should be really exclusive if information. Ah, now that I mentioned those, I forgot to tell about the contents. Uh, let's go over there to discuss it. Dr. Mosul's death is closely linked to the paper, so it feels weird to talk about it right outside their front door. Uh, this part's perfect. You wanted to know why Dr. Mosul was tried, right? It was a, it actually seemed from it actually stemmed from public opinion. Public opinion. Well, not long after the existence of the Chromosus lie detector was made public, the Steinberg published several articles on it and quickly drew the public's attention. Relevant information retrieved, also ex exclusive, behind the lies, also protocols, protocols to watch, lie detector, a game of authority. The paper used special features like this to incite widespread fear and worry among the general public. Soon, public opinion began to turn against Mr. Mosul. Uh, what were they worried about? For example, how to guarantee that the light detector out output is credible? What will happen if a suspect in a trial isn't lying, but Curve says he is? Would mistrials in just result? But if Curve's reliability can be guaranteed, then those concerns would evaporate. Relevant information retrieved. Content from light detector, a game of authority. When using protocols to restrict authority, the central question is not the light detector's reliability, but its ability to remain independent from outside authorities. As the article points out, Curve is just a machine, so what will happen if the people put in their trust in Curve, yet someone would control Curve and use it to falsify results? The Mosul protocols are there to prevent that, right? Relevant information retrieved, content from Mosul protocols, protocols to watch. It must be noticed that as the Mosul protocols are being made, there is a possibility for them being modified. This may prove to be a well-concealed trap. Well, are they accusing Dr. Mosul of seriously tampering or leaving backdoors? This is just the beginning. All kinds of other characters pile on after the Steam Bird triggered the first outpouring of public op opposition. Relevant information retrieved, fish can live in clean water, reject a gold fish bowl world, published by Seven Nations Gazette, shocking misjudgment of the light actor, published by Short Anthologies, shocking misjudgment of the light detector, the curve made a mistake. Uh, that was just a lie of course. Curve was, was never involved in any case, much less in just in one, 
and that's how public opinion works so and so it was all downhill from there for dr moso in the end some even came forward and made accusations against the doctor they called the light detector a total scam and all results were completely manufactured uh, they believed the doctor was deceiving the public in an attempt to gain the power to pass judgment over others. And so they demanded the doctor be severely punished and the lie detector destroyed. Aren't those accusations a little too serious? Would anyone even believe stuff like this? Many did. They were all just ordinary people, so how could they differentiate the truth from lies when they don't have access to sufficient information? We believe what others want us to believe. And it just so happened that at such a critical juncture, the Steinberg did something huge. They provided evidence that exposed Dr. Mosso as having falsified results. Their evidence was key to Dr. Mosso's conviction. Evidence? Did Dr. Mosso really deceive everyone? The doctor refused to admit it, of course, and so he died defending himself in a duel. Only then did things start to come down. The paper's reputation skyrocketed, and a useless fake like and a useless fake like curve was soon forgotten. It was just left with the marshal's phantom as evidence. So is curve the real deal or not? Well, I think curve's the real deal, and Dr. Mosso was wrongly accused. Then was the evidence presented by the paper falsified, or did they make a mistake? But the person who wrote the threatening letter seems to think that the paper deliberately fabricated those lies in search of fame, profit, or something else. Oh, then could she be someone very close to Dr. Mosso, back for revenge? Paimon definitely avenged Enos if Enos was wrong like that. Uh, Paimon can bear to think about it. Thanks, Paimon. Don't jinx me, Paimon. But Dr. Mosso passed away 30 years ago, so someone close to him... I wonder if Elfraise knows anything. Should we go see her then? Don't worry, she wasn't in charge of the paper at the time, and I don't think Elfraise is a bad person. Pine looks like we'll have to ask her about it tomorrow. Today it was a total information overload. Paimon had needs some time to recover. Alright, then let's head home, get her some rest, and... Meet outside the paper tomorrow morning. I'll have to wait another day. Um. Wait. It just just stopped tomorrow morning it's usually after 8 Just stopped. So let me teleport away. Advance another hour and come back. Oh, do I have to wait now a real day and come back there? It needs to be more clear when I have to wait real life days and when I have to wait in game days. There's no quest here at all. Here. Uh, uh, uh. Well, it's been long enough. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here and if the next part is really short, then I'll go do some other world quests. But I'll end here. Let's just get one.
Try to get Ocarina. No. Alright. Then I'm out.